You have two minutes. Hello, I'm my name is Chloe Daly. I'm running for city council, but I'm here today as a cost burden renter to ask the city to help me and tens of thousands of other renters who are being impoverished and displaced during this crisis. I was one of the advocates. It's so hard for me to listen to these stories that I read every day, but to see these people in person and hear the stories is really emotional for me. Um, I was one of the advocates calling for a housing state of emergency last year. And when the city seemed to hear our call, there was a lot of hope in the community that something would be done. Uh, a year later, we've not seen meaningful progress on emergency shelter, uh, on tenant protections, or our out of control rental market. I support extending the housing state of emergency for a minimum of one year, but declaring an emergency is only the first step. There are also real solutions council can consider right now that could provide immediate and meaningful relief. First, please consider a temporary lift of the ordinances that currently ban RVs from parking on the street, prohibit homeowners from allowing camping on their private property, and prevent the construction of tiny homes on donated public lands. We can manage public health and safety through existing laws, and we can let Property owners help their friends and family and neighbors uh, stay marginally housed. In addition, you can enforce the rules you put in place on Airbnb and put an end to residential properties being turned into commercial enterprises. Estimates put these properties as at at least 1,000 with a vacancy rate of around 2%. That's a significant number. It's also close to what we hope to build in the next several years with our housing bond. That rental that's rental housing that's been eliminated for over 3,000 renters. The boldest move you could make is to invoke ORS 91.225 Section 5 to temporarily stabilize and protect renters until the legislature gives us back the, le the regulatory tools we need to deal with this housing crisis. I know the city is afraid of being sued over this action, but have you done a cost-benefit analysis of the expense of a lawsuit versus the human and financial cost of 2,000 people sleeping on our streets, I gotta finish, 2,000 people in emergency shelters, 16,000 people doubling up with friends and family, and 150,000 cost burden renters. We have got to make Portland a city that works for all of us, not just the landlords. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.